Hi Cancer, welcome to your unexpected reading for, look at that, Two of Pentacles. All right, making some choices, being discerning. Um, your unexpected reading for, for essentially August, <laughs> July 29th through August 28th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, as well as the recommend a reader shout out, which goes to Shanetta's Divine Tarot. Every, much love and support to her, and hopefully you get a chance to check her out, show her some love and support as well if you like what you hear. This is intended for a romantic love read, but it may resonate in other areas of your life, such as money, friends, family, job, career, that sort of thing. All right, Cancerian, what is your unexpected? Prepare yourself for what? What is it? What's your unexpected? Cancerian. There's that two of pentacles again. Interesting. All right. Okay, the magician. Whoa. All right. In the hot seat. Page of pentacles. Four of wands. What? Oh. Three of swords. Queen of wands. Okay. All right. What else for cancer? Just finding out an ex is getting married. This one very small scenario, very superficial scenario. Okay, so is this about you learning something new? We got all this right here is it feels kind of like starting over and having to adjust to a new normal. So figuring things out, learning new things adjusting and adapting we got two pages here and that is disquiet so things are in flux much like this right here the juggler the two of pentacles is this page of pentacles about here fent so finding faith within yourself realizing i can do it i don't need anybody else because we got heartache here so what the heck happened what's this page of wands can't see anything. what's this page of wands Nine of Wands. Alright. Hmm. It says four of wands. It's four of wands. Three of Pentacles. Hmm. All right, so what's this Three of Swords, though? Because so far, it's like, but see, here we have you being by yourself and needing to restore faith and stability in yourself by being on your own and knowing, having a sense and knowing that you can do it. Why? We got the Page of Wands and the Nine of Wands, and we got Four of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. What's this Three of Swords about? So things have changed. And there's, there's sadness over that. I get it. But what's this Queen of Wands about? Strength. And the Magician. This could be Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. What's this Magician about? What's this Magician about? Is this being disappointed that something didn't work out with a person? That you weren't able to work things out with someone? Is this things ending and you having to be, instead of you going in to fix it, you're having to be like, all right, I gotta be patient, I gotta wait. This isn't, thankfully there's not, there's only one major account here. I mean, there's some clarifiers, but this is, there's only one major account here. So this isn't like, it's the end of the world, but I think there's some disappointment here. Um, is it that you're dealing with someone that you feel like you've been with for quite some time and it hasn't progressed the way you liked it? You're kind of dealing with someone that kind of might be immature. 
kind of flighty, kind of not very committal, wishy-washy. There's delays and things going forward. They kind of want to remain a free spirit. And, or is it that, are you two not on the same page, honestly? And you're wondering, okay, how's this gonna work? Well, it's not. Here she comes. Oh boy. It's Teddy Whitey's. She's, she, yeah, she's bringing her offering. Oh, why is it got to be underwear? Freak. So this is, but... Do you decide not to? Is This feels like you end it because this is heartbreak over something that you that is not out of the wood like it's it's not out of the realm of possibility it's something that could go either way you might be taking a gamble but you've got some a relationship that you're working on and yet because of somebody's lack of commitment or lack of interest it's just not working out but it's been over for a while and you're having to just scrap you know it's like all right i knew this could happen it's just not worth it at this point where it's just it's a lot of work and i don't there could be this element to where you don't feel like your your contribution is valued, that they're not on the same page as you. You, you might feel there's, there's this feeling of kind of fe being alone, even though you might be in connection with someone. This is a lot of work for you. And you might have been working on things and this and that, and you just can't anymore. This is you just, I don't want to say giving up, but it kind of is. It's you stopping... The effort towards something that is just not giving back what you're putting in this person is just not that into it and this is you deciding to end it and instead of rushing back in there and fixing it like you always do like you always go in there and show back up this is you know out of faith and resiliency and respect and honor and all of that because you're a nurturer this is you going I just can't it's been over for a while things have changed I just can't anymore I can't do for the both of us anymore. And this is you right here adjusting to a new normal and probably disappointed within yourself because you couldn't make it work, but you shouldn't have had to. And you'll know that and you do know it. It just, it's a crappy realization. And this is about you being patient, you having courage and strength, much like right here, but instead of going in and fixing it, this is about you staying in your lane and doing for yourself. This is a very good partner, a very dynamic partner. This is the goer, the doer, the person who has a lot of fun, the person that is inclusive, adventurous, everything. There's a natural fit with this person. Everybody likes to be around somebody like this, male or female. They're, they make things happen, they provide, they're warm and they're inclusive. It, it just, it's awesome. And we got Leo here, we got Aries here. But that's probably your role in this relationship we got two pages here if there's anybody you do that for it's kids it's not your partner unless you're it's it's a fit otherwise you end up having just a bunch of kids instead of a partner and kids you know and it looks like there's this resignation you just don't want to do it anymore you don't want to have to work on things and and this is you repeatedly showing back up to work and do the work of two people and there's disappointment. And I'm, you know, this could be a very different spin if we didn't have the Three of Swords and the Five of the Cups here. So, if those were different cards, this would be about, okay, we're in the beginning stages of repairing a relationship. But we got this here. Uh uh. This is you calling it a day because you just don't want to have to work that hard anymore in a relationship. And you're too good of a partner and you've got too much integrity to continue to throw good after bad or to just this, per they're just not that into it, you know, they're just not that into it. So I'm sorry. And I, it looks like I'm not telling you anything new because we got disappointment and sadness over here that you couldn't make it work, that it's not going to work. And, and the realization also that unless you're in the driving seat, it doesn't happen. 
So this is you, because of that, this is you going off on your own and adjusting to the new normal, making some decisions. This is also realizations coming to you after the fact that, hey, you know what? They said this, but it was really this. They weren't telling the truth or they were like, this is after the fact realization. For this context of this reading, this is after the fact realization that um, not everything was as it seemed. That there might have been a lot of look over here while I do this over here. Or here, I got you the things that you like. Now, are you happy? Can I go do what I want to do? That sort of thing. You know, because there's always going to be something they want to do. And there's here you are frustrated and waiting. And so this whole month is going to be about you continuing to learn to adjust to the new normal, building strength and resiliency and faith in yourself by learning new things, adjusting to your new normal and taking charge of your life after this disappointment and the realization that if I don't make it happen, it wasn't going to happen. I'm glad you realized it now. And it's, it's almost like you were either you, oh, well, I was going to say you're on the verge of marriage. No, this is you. This might have been a marriage. Could have been a marriage that is in the process of being dismantled or living as married because you just, it's, it's just not worth it. Your heart's kind of broken. You're sad. You, you thought this might have been a possibility, but you thought there might have been a chance for maturity or growing together. And it's very one-sided here. We got a page and we got the nine. This is like a baby and this is like a, a seasoned warrior. So... Mm -mm. What else for Cancerian? I'm sorry, Cancer. This is a this is you adjusting to your new norm. There's freedom, there's strength and freedom and resiliency here, but there's also heartache because of an ending that was a long time coming, and it's you knowing that it's over, and there's some sadness in that. But we got the two cups here. This is this is that perspective that you'll be getting, but not until after this. I'm sorry. Um, I think the, the unexpected element here, the surprise, is that you're actually throwing in the towel instead of making it work like you always did before. I think that's the shift for you, is that you just don't, you don't want to do this anymore. What else for Cancerian? But I, I gotta say, on the other side of it, I mean, we start off with, you know, and then we got the, we got the Magician, we got the Queen of Wands, and we got the Strength here. Though that's no slouch. That is someone that after this, you know, after going through this, all of a sudden we're out there having fun, making things happen. And we had this potential all along. That's why we were able to hold the relationship together. Cause you can make a, you know, you can make chicken salad out of chicken, you know, but this gets transmuted to you starting to do for yourself and you being in control and balance. we got that infinity symbol and we got that infinity symbol here with the magician. And this is all about you shifting the focus of trying to make it work and how is it going to happen to bringing things into balance for yourself. Infinity symbol there also. Infinity symbol. Wow, this is about control. Self-preservation, control, perseverance. You, the willpower and the sheer, sheer will to drive things forward. Instead of trying to make a relationship work that was kind of dead in the water, this is about shifting that focus. And when you do, your life takes off. <laughs> you're gonna be a busy month <laughs> no but this is this is all of a sudden you're at the helm in your own life because things are brought back into balance and perspective is reached and it, this transmutes from trying to figure out how this is going to work to making things work in your life because you're back at the helm balance is restored dignity self-respect you're not in any hurry you're in command and in control Wow. Oh. All right. I'll take it. That's for Cancerian. Not too shabby. Especially coming off the heels of heartache. Oh. It's about compromise and commitment. And it doesn't look like that was... It looks like that was the issue here, is compromise and commitment. And, and you might have been up for it. Perhaps this person was not. Again, with the pages, that beginning energy of something, instead of, you know, being all in, that kingly energy. Nope. Mm -mm. What else for Cancer? This could be Gemini, Taurus, or Libra. This is, this is that compromise, making that commitment. And is everything, again, is everything as it seems? 
And then this just jumped illuminate. Is everything as it seems. And things are going to be illuminated after you, with the heartache and going through it and getting some perspective and realizing a few things. You're going to be, I'm telling you, it's going to be a few things you're going to find out. And it might be something you already know, but it's a different perspective. Like, hey, wait a second. They told me all along, look, I've done everything you wanted me to. Can I go do this now? But that's indicative of somebody that really didn't want to be here, but they like the benefit of being here. Hey, they weren't really, you know what I mean? Like it's that sort of thing. It's, it's you having these epiphanies and realizations, not because they told you and you're discussing with them, but because you're on your own, you're thinking about things and coming to your own conclusions. We got three infinity symbols here. That is all about you becoming a master of your domain, of, of realizing things and taking back that power and being in control. for Achievement. Yeah, like I said, you're no set. Look at this. Queen of Wands, Magician, and Strength, Achievement, yeah. You're no slouch. You've just been throwing energy, good after bad, so to speak. You've been investing in this relationship that was kind of, like I said, dead in the water, just not going anywhere. It just, it, you know, they just weren't into it. it was, and once this is out of the way, then you start to soar, but there's that disappointment. There, nonetheless, there is that disappointment. I don't want to, I'm not trying to pretty up and be like, oh, you'll be fine. No, it's like you have to go through the valley of death before you get to the, that, which essentially is supposed to be like the Garden of Eden before things got weird. But, okay. The blissful time before it got weird. Four of Pentacles, let go. It's time, let go. This is the perfect partner here. We got two queens. This is probably, okay, so I could I could see the devotion because two queens, sincere friendship, right? So I could see the devotion and wanting to make it where you're a nurturer anyway, Cancer, and wanting to stick around in the name of loyalty and devotion and a caretaking and you're a good partner and it's time to let go. Four of Pentacles reverse, let go. This is, this is wasted energy because it's just, it's not, it's misplaced. This nurturing, stable, practical, providing energy is needs to be redirected to you because this is not, it's, it's not landing in this situation. It's just not benefiting it. It's not working. I don't know what, why, but it's not, it's thrown good after bad. And this energy is best suited for self-care and reinvestment in yourself and what you want to do and being at the helm in your own life and providing and being stable and trustworthy for yourself. Because that's what you were for this relationship, but it, it's, no, no. Mm -mm. Could be Capricorn. All right, so the good news is it's like, oh, this puts you back in the driver's seat and you're glad for it. And it's like, here you are, magician, Queen of Wands and the Strength card, you know, <laughs> get out of my way. <laughs> but there is, nonetheless, there is that heartache, and I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, try to downplay that. That's, but it, it could be the springboard for this. But this does need to be dealt with, and I do want to respect and honor that. That it's not like, oh, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's not. It's gonna suck for a little bit. This comes out of it, which is awesome. It's gonna feel awesome, but it probably sucks right now. All right, self-care perspective. Thing. And that's that's gonna be the biggest thing too. That is probably what's gonna, oh God, I'm gonna plug this in, hold on a minute. Honestly, I think that's what's gonna transmute this disappointment and this Three of Swords energy into this powerhouse with the Queen of Wands and the Strength card because um, there's gonna be some things that you're going to realize there's going to be some illuminating of hey wait a second and i think that's going to be key in transmuting this disappointment and this frustration into oh well that you know okay now i understand i'm not going to make that same mistake again furthermore i'm going to i've got everything at my fingertips now and i need to take advantage of that i've been wasting all this energy on kind of trying to resurrect something that it's just mm -mm, and i need to focus on myself now and my own achievements and progressing because I understand now the dynamic. Okay, all right, so that's the end of it. I, I hope this sounds not too wonky for you. Um, 
I hope this was helpful, Cancer. Please don't beat yourself up. Feel the feels, and then you're going to come out on the other side here. But this might get don't no shortcuts, okay? Because you don't want to end up back up here. Because you've been here enough already. You don't want to... But just everything's fine. Let's just get to getting. No, you got to feel it. Okay. All right. I thank you for stopping by, and I hope to see you in the next reading. You take care.